I'm installing a CCTV system for my home. I'm mounting four different cameras in three different locations. First one that you're seeing here outside is by my shed. The next one is going to be inside of my office. And then I have two in the front of my house that are going to monitor packages and deliveries. First Trend sponsored this video and sent me over this product to review. Before I went outside and installed the cameras, I did do a dry run inside and I went through all of the software and everything to get it set up so that once I had everything installed, it would be ready to go. This process took me about 30 minutes to get set up. Basically followed the instructions instructions, set the password, plugged everything in, and I was just trying to test the cameras to make sure that I could get a signal and that they all worked before I started drilling holes all over the house. The cameras can operate off of an ethernet cable as well as power. They were only testing the functionality with a powered and wireless connection. After getting logged into the video recorder, it was super easy. The cameras just connected automatically. And then I placed them around the house where I was going to install them to make sure that they were gonna have a good connection. I did have to install a receptacle as well in my garage so that I could power these things. My idea here was to drill a pilot hole from the inside out so I could tell where I was outside. I got it exactly where I wanted it. I stuck a screwdriver through there just to kind of give me an idea. This was one of the things that I did not like about this system. You had to drill a pretty sizable hole in order to pass the cords through on the inside so you're not running these AC adapters on the outside and worrying about getting water in them. It ended up being like a one inch or a three quarter inch hole that you needed in order to pass these cables through. But after I drilled that hole, I was able to use the same hole for two different cameras. So I can point one straight and point one over to the left. There's those little fat white things that I'm talking about that have to go through the holes. It's kind of a little bit frustrating. You have to drill a big hole for that. Cameras have a lot of different options when it comes to their programming. They can do motion tracking and face detect and they can record. You can put them on a schedule, a whole ton of things. Here I am putting some silicone over the hole that I drilled just to keep critters out. It's a pretty sheltered area. I don't think we're going to get water in there anyways. To test out how this looks on the inside, I went ahead and added a camera in my office here. I didn't even anchor it. I just drilled it right into the stud that was there. It worked out really well. And then I used some of this line hide or wire hide type material. It's like these little plastic adhesive strips to hide the cord going over there. And it actually doesn't look bad once you get it all done. For the fourth and last camera, I installed it over by my shed in the backyard because I knew I had a power receptacle. I drilled like a one inch hole with a paddle bit and then I mounted the camera and I passed the wires on the inside of the shed and I was able to power it. Now this one since then has had a little bit of trouble with reception. I'm thinking about moving the receiver on the inside here somewhere else so that I can get a better reception on this last camera. The system did come with a template for drilling holes. I didn't end up using that. I didn't need it. I just Put the screws in and it worked out for me the power adapters that it comes with are generously long i didn't have any problems with that that was great to have nice long cords here i am in the dvr using the mouse that was provided by it and you can see the camera in the back is not connecting very well but all the other cameras seem to be connecting the quality looks really good on the indoor camera very low latency there the outdoor cameras sometimes kind of populate a little bit slower than I would like. The daytime image quality is really good though. You can see the picture there. It looks super crisp and there's a ton of different settings. There's just way more than what I can get into in this kind of video, but there's a ton of different programming options you have with this thing. One of the ones that I'm going to get into here in a minute is the face detect, which was pretty cool. I did end up getting logged in on the app and you can hear people. You can turn audio on. You can do the face detect, you can record screenshots, you can record video. It's pretty cool, but it is really slow. The other thing is the software on the app looks like it works with multiple different devices. And so you have a bunch of options like voice that it says you can talk, but on this particular camera that we have here, you can't do audio. So there's a lot of things that are like, they look like they work, but they actually don't work. So you could hear that was the audio quality from my brother-in-law simulating a break-in in a car and just what kind of audio levels you would expect. At night, it's actually pretty clear the footage switched over automatically. And here's something interesting. The face capture on this was actually pretty good. And I think that's a really beneficial feature of this. If you did have something, having those still shots of the face 
will be helpful. I moved everything downstairs to the living room, which is a more central location for all of the cameras, and it was really running very smooth. Now, once I was doing some live testing with the app, there was a significant delay. I'm not sure if it was my Wi-Fi on the phone. I gotta work out a little bit more kinks on that because you can see here, he's clearly not standing anymore. But then at other times, you could see that it was pretty reflective of what was going on on the screen. I think it's just some bugs to work out on my end. You can purchase this system with or without a pre-installed hard drive. I would recommend getting it with the hard drive. That way you can start recording immediately. I have some clips of me kind of in the installation process here. You can switch the cameras, you can blow them up big, you can do a lot of different things with the recording software. You can set a schedule. You can only track motion. You can only track faces. Let me know what you think. Do you think you need a security system in your home? I'll leave this one in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any more questions, please drop them in the comments down below.